Hello everyone, my name is Toya Kinlolu and I'm here to just share my testimony to encourage a woman out there that you are not alone and that you could be everything God wants you to be. I would start this journey, I'll start my testimony by first thanking God and P.I. <laughs> I met P.I. Pastor Mr. Willoughby about six years ago, yes. But I didn't know her one on one. She didn't know me as well. But five years ago, God gave an instruction, a very strange one that I didn't even know. I, you know, God, God works in mysterious ways. She called me that I need to to handle, you know, an expression of Emisi Olabi International, which was she is. That's um, women who are just. We just, it's, it's about women trying to understand womanhood. You could be everything God wants you to be. Trying to just talk about 360 degree kind of woman. You could be the family woman, the CEO, an entrepreneur. You could be the woman in ministry, you know, whatever. Anyways, and I say it takes a leader to nurture one. Because she's not, I don't even know. I, I didn't see myself in this. I didn't even see the, myself talking to any woman that is towing. That's me being real. And when she said, I said, ah, okay. You know, it was just that okay was based on respect. <laughs> if I had my way, it was no. I prayed about it. I thought, okay, I didn't even know what we we're going into. If I knew them, it would have backed up. But yeah, I'm here. And it's been five years. Um, last week, we had. The fifth year anniversary of she is. And I looked back like, God, how? Because she literally handed over <laughs> that, <laughs> that ministry to me. She doesn't join our monthly meetings and all of that. So it was me thinking, oh, because we usually have monthly meetings and would gather women would show up, would pray, someone's testimony, someone talking about career. But I looked back. My God, how? This me, this me that felt for a very long time, I didn't know who I was, but I only know Tony is just that woman that loves to work. But I didn't know there was much more in me than just work. My work became my security. My job became what I relied solely. I was so into my job because I felt, okay, I didn't know I get my salary. That's Tony. But I realized there was much more. Also, that's why when I want to describe, I describe her like an activator. And I'm just here to encourage someone. And, and she's helped through different journey because in this, aside from my relationship with God, it has helped me understand that there are different seasons in life. Now, you know, you always say children of Isaka to understand the time and times and season. Now, I've been in a season where I've worked, been in another season where you have to stay at home, you quit your job <laughs> like the most uninteresting journey at times however i'm grateful i won't trade it for anything because i think saying yes and being obedient it pays more than anything else so i'm grateful because first that security that was on my salary god had to strip me all of that i didn't know you know if you see me you see me as a very humble person so he's in but i didn't know that i actually had pride <laughs> So in that journey of having to leave, leave my job, join my family, stay with them, I realized that I had pride. So things that I wouldn't even ask for, like, because I felt I had, I had my salary will come in and I'll do some things that I can do. But, you know, I was stripped of everything and um, I had to depend solely on God. God, my husband, you know, but two things I know God has done through this. It's made me understand my children, even my husband, better. Now, there's intimacy. And now I can say I'm married. Because I didn't even know that, you know, us being apart. We thought it was okay. No, but God felt it was time to join him so that you two will raise these children. To be honest, I'd worked for give and take about 13 years. But I have, you know... There are some things that I, I, I didn't see myself doing that in the last two years. So, see, when God wants, when God gives you an instruction, I don't know who I'm talking to. It might not make sense. 
in my not most times don't even make sense because I struggled. Hey, to leave my I struggled. But today, I don't I think I'm happier. I did that some years ago. Yes. I've been to places where in the last 13 years of my of working, I've not been able to go. I've gone on trip the last two years. I think I've I've yes, I think I've flown more than I've been on the air more than 15 times. I'm not joking, like different trips. I'm not working. It's strange. But God has shown me that I'm in this with you. There might not be salary in that account. But honestly, now I understand how to rely solely on God. The things you struggle, you feel that salary is enough. Where I've been to in the last two years, my salary would never have been able to take me there. I would never have been able to afford it. But you know when God wants to let you know that I have your back in. When God wants to let you know that that's, that instruction, the fact that you obeyed, I'll show you I'm a good father. I'm grateful I did not disobey. And I don't know who will be listening to this. If you're listening to this, don't be, step, don't be scared to take that bold step. My son crazy. You might look, you might sound to be like you're insane. And because, to be honest, I was growing in my organization. I was the head of two units. I thought it was good. I thought that was the best God had for me. But God said, if only you could see what I have in stock for you, you won't hold on to this job as if it's your life. <laughs> I have better plans for you. And I'm grateful I did. It's still a learning curve. At times I cry, yeah. At times, <laughs> at times I'm like, God, what's going on with my life? You didn't just bring me thus far because if you know me, <laughs> I have qualifications. So I'm a professional in my field. Well, he's taught me to drop all of that. It's not easy, but I did drop it. Yes. Painful, but I dropped it. So it's no longer my security. My professional qualification is not my security now. I don't even have any shame, honestly. <laughs> he stripped me of everything that I can call sparking. Completely. All I know I have now is Jesus. And a beautiful community. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. My husband might get to watch this. I just want to say, Oh, I can thank you. Thank you for everything. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you. I love you dearly. I'm grateful. Thank you. Because you see all of this. And you've not for once said, I'm tired. Thank you. Thank you for being a tool that God has used in the last two years. And for amazing community. If you're a woman out there, you can't go on this journey alone. You might look like, oh, she said she's traveled to different places in the last two years. Trust me. <laughs> Those times, I know the last trip we went on <laughs> this year. I remember when we were going on that trip, like, oh, why am I traveling? I want money. I want a job. That's what I wanted. I remember one day I was praying, saying, go and enjoy yourself. I'm going on vacation when I'm not working. When I was working, I couldn't afford vacation. God is taking care of me. It makes sense. But I'm grateful. I'm not saying that everything will be rosy. Because you can imagine when all your life, you live in the morning, come back in the evening as a working mother. And all of a sudden, everyone is leaving. You're shutting the door every day. It's the most <laughs> humbling. <laughs> humbling. I get oh, exactly in the house. Oh, what my children? Even normally me. I can't remember the last time I did all of that. But it was time to nurture that family. 
So please, you can't go on this journey alone. I'm grateful for friends. There are some days I was not getting it right. There are some days I was angry at God. I will, I will weep on my bed. I go, I'm tired of closing the door behind them. It's time they leave. But no, he always brings people to encourage me. If you're looking for a community support system, we have She Is, we have IRA. You need a community, a good support system. Who will hold your hands the days you are weak? They will strengthen you. That's my testimony. That's my journey until today. Is what date? The 16th or 17th? That's my journey, and I'm grateful to God. I believe I'll come back here to share the next phase. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I'm grateful. I know the one holds tomorrow, and I know it's got my back. So I'm not sure. Thank you, everyone. Bye.